obviously. That's what the feminists complain about all the time when they talk about the oppressive patriarchy and all toxic masculinity. There's no shortage of toxic masculinity. So is there any toxic femininity? Well, not if the feminine is just being oppressed virgin. What happened? A tilt towards autism. So those are the guys who get sexual kicks from dressing up in women's clothing and then go dr do drag queen story hour. Say, well, we're just, you know, pristine and pure. You're getting a sexual kick from dressing up in women's clothing. Oh, there's nothing sexual about this. It's like, yeah, right. You're dressing up in lingerie before your mirror at home, tucking your dick between your legs, imagining you have a vagina for sexual kick. This is labeled as transphobic. Yeah, this is yeah. a transphobic Well, it's even worse than that, you know, because you're gay. No, you're not. You're a pathological narcissist sacrificing your own children to the glorification of your compassion. So what is the difference between the way the sex, this, what you're saying here, although it's backed by the literature, it's, it's obvious you have an expertise in this area. This is LGBT alliance. 80% of them are gay. Here, we'll do a little bit of arithmetic. 8,999,999 to one. So, yeah, that's for sure, man. What a crazy yeah, And here, situation. here, oh, let's add something equally ugly to it. Well, I have two children, five and seven. One is trans and the other is pansexual. And I just thought mathematically right away, I don't even know how to calculate those odds. But whatever that is, that's Hansel and Gretel, right? Mm. You're lost in the woods. You come across a gingerbread house. Well, that's pretty damn convenient. It's a house made out of candy. Well, what's inside a house made out of candy? A witch who wants to f*** you up. From the here something cold From the world must come together as one There'll appear from the sex.